Just two really brief announcements. The first one is anybody that was involved with the Middletown High School football team, uh, certainly a congratulations to all those that are involved with that. I know they didn't win state championship, but to achieve runner-up in three years in a row, or at least make the playoffs three years in a row, is such an incredible, incredible achievement. So congratulations to all those who are involved. And also at two o'clock today is our parish penance service. We have a half a dozen priests there. It's a good opportunity, my friends. You know, for the rest of, of Advent, I'll be, you know, I hear confessions on Thursday from 4.30 to 6. But this will give you an opportunity to go to a priest that, you know, you're unfamiliar with. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, you know, that's at two o'clock. There's no service. You just come and go to confessions. Thank you. There was a woman traveling through West Virginia, and she was stopped. She was going 70 miles an hour in a 55-mile speed zone. And the state trooper gave her a ticket, and as he gave her the ticket, she said to him, don't you give out warnings in this state? Yes, ma'am, we do, she said. He said, we put our warnings as signs along the road, 55 miles an hour. This is like St. John the Baptist is putting warning signs along the road, isn't he? Prepare the way of the Lord. This is what he's saying for all of us. Prepare the way of the Lord. In Paris, and I'm not sure if they still do do this, but they have certainly used this in the past. They use one and a half tons of perfume a month. A month to cover up the odor in the city subway, especially in the, in the well-known shopping area there in, in Paris itself. I looked up, it's, they use a scent called Madeleine, and I actually looked it up. There is a scent that, and we said, I looked it up, you can get it on Amazon for $99 for a little, I don't know if that's expensive or not for perfume, but. But you know, I was reading this article and they, and they spend millions of dollars a year on this. I thought, you know, why can't they just find the source of the smell and take care of it? But no, they want to cover it up and spend millions of dollars doing so. And I thought, you know, it's just like us, isn't it? When we're preparing for Christmas, we do all these things. We always look nice. Our house looks nice. Church looks good. You know, we do all these exterior things, and we need to. We need to. But do we take care of this, my friends? And that's what St. John the Baptist is talking about. Prepare our hearts for Christmas. In what way? In what way? You know, we, we need to change, don't we? We need to change. There's a French author called Balzac, B-A-L-Z-A-C. Some of you that are in, into things, that are liturgies, that are known in, in that liturgy, in the novelist world. They were, he was quite popular in the 1800s. But he also did something that was like a side job. He would analyze your handwriting and tell you if you'd be successful or not. Especially, he said, is for the younger children, he'd be able to, to predict that. So a woman went to him one day and he gave him a, a notebook and he says to her, are you his mother? And she says, no, are you related? And she, he said, no. He said, well, then I can be frank with you, ma'am. This youth is not very bright and probably won't amount to too much. And he said some other negative things and she thanked him. And she said, it's very nice meeting you. And before she left, she said, oh, by the way, she said, this was your notebook when you were a boy at school. We're very good at diagnosing other people, aren't we? I am too. We're very good at that. He needs to change, she needs to change. We're good. 
but really, who needs to change? I do, right? We all do. I do. Not he or she, or you or I. It's I. And that's what this St. John the Baptist is talking about. This is an actual true story. In Lake Worth, Florida, two boys were almost suspended. Do you know what they were doing? They were eating garlic. So on the way to school on the bus, they would eat one or two cloves of garlic. And then during lunch, they would eat two or three cloves of garlic. And driving everyone around them absolutely crazy. The principal called them in and said, you know, why are you doing this? And they were, they were both, they read an article that if you eat this garlic, you'd be able to run faster. And they said, you know, you, you smell that the principal saying you're, you're causing this odor by eating this garlic. And they said, we can't smell it. He said, we were even blowing each other's face and we still couldn't smell the garlic. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, yeah. It's just, we have all this garlic around us, don't we, my friends? Yeah, all of us do. You know, when we have sins of anger, grudges, the list is, you know, we all know the, the litany of sins that we have, judging, lust, you know, jealousy, impatience, all those, they change us. They change us. And you know, to live with us, it's like we're eating garlic. We're the ones, you know? We, it's like we're eating garlic. We have all these sins inside of us, and we think, oh, we're fine. Meanwhile, we reek of this garlic, driving everybody around us crazy. But we think we're fine. But we think we're fine, and we're not. And we're not. And that's what Advent's all about, my friends. It's a beautiful thing, and confession is part of that, to get rid of that to get rid of that. And when we rid ourselves of that, my friends, we ourselves not only make those around us better, but we feel better. That last line of the gospel says, those that prepare the way shall see the salvation of our God. You see, when our hearts are right, we'll be able to see in a much clearer way. God bless you.